Now, this week, ABBA are celebrating 40 years. Can you believe it's 40 years since they won Eurovision and, of course, went to number one with Waterloo? To mark the occasion, they've released uh, a brand new book, ABBA Treasures, and Richard caught up with Bjorn to find out what's in it. When you look at some of the details of the book about the fact that, um, you know, it's, it's such a family affair. Yes. That, you know, it, the, the... people thought it was a gimmick, you know. Some people thought it, two, two married couples. Great. I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. It was like it was meant to be in some kind of way. No one's ever going to see, according to your good self, you guys back together again, the four of you. No, uh, that, that's, that's not going to happen. But we, we have talked about it now and then, but now, forget it. Four geriatrics. Four geriatrics, even if you say you can <laughs> still get into those Eurovision <laughs> outfits. Well. We have some questions from some of our viewers. This one from Chris. Um, if you could save only three ABBA songs for a time capsule, which three would they be? I would take one that represents the beginning of when we actually found our identity as a pop group. So I will choose SOS. So when you near me, darling, can't you hear me, SOS? And I would take something from the middle, like 76, 77, around there, and I would probably take Dancing Queen there. And then the very end, uh, the winner takes it all. The winner takes it all. Would you and Benny consider writing a song if Anietta recorded another album? I'm sure we'd write something, yes. Do you miss writing for those voices, though, because they were such beautiful melodies? Yeah, if, if that's one thing I miss, that's what I miss, because the vehicle, about the vehicle, with the two girls and uh, uh, Anietta being a true soprano, Frida I met so, which means that you can write songs with a wide, a huge range and never have any problem. Are you all still in touch? Yes, we are. Every now and then. And actually, just um, about three months ago, we sat down, the, the four of us, the same room, just the four of us. And that was the first time in many, many years. It just takes a split second, the four of us together, when, and, and it all comes back. Was it emotional? It was. It is emotional because you can't help thinking of what we went, went through together. And, and above all that, we're still here. That people still want to make interviews. That is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure. Thank you for the Lovely music. Man. You yeah, have to say that, how. don't you? And for lots more of that interview and more questions, more answers to your questions, go to the Daybreak website, itv.com slash daybreak. What a great bloke. Yeah, can you imagine being him? Writing Amazing. all those hits. Yeah, Amazing. fantastic. Right, let's look at the